All right, guys, let's check out Big Gator Tools V Drill Guide. All right, everybody, welcome back to the old iron shop. All right, guys, I just want to let you know that this is a sponsored video. Uh, Big Gator Tools was nice enough to uh, send me one of their V Drill Guides. Uh, you know, upon my request, I really wanted to try out this tool. I saw them at the uh, Bar Z Summer Bash here last summer. And uh, I was hoping to win one. Fortunately, I didn't. But they were nice enough to give me one. So we're going to give them a review. Here's all the stuff that they sent me. A couple of nice big bumper sticker here. Here's a small one. I'll probably put that up on the wall. Uh, some sort of sales information here. Uh, I guess they have these new mini uh, V-Drill guides. I guess these are more like aircraft screw sizes. Uh, small stuff, numbered size drills and whatnot. Uh, they have those in uh, inch and metric. And then this is their catalog. I guess it's their catalog or show, showcasing their stuff. It's pretty nice. So they, not only do they sell these V-Drill guides, but they also have tapping guides, which would be very handy in a lot of situations. You don't have a milling machine uh, this will allow you to do things that you can't do otherwise so let's have a look at the uh, let's have a look at the tool here first thing I'd like to say is I really like this case uh, it's clear so you can see what you got in there you know we've got the standard uh, drill guide here there's the part number if you want to look one up and uh, they were nice enough to give me a discount code that I can uh, share with you guys. And it's Old Iron Shops 10. That's one word. And it's just for single tools. Uh, I guess they give a pretty good discount if you buy uh, sets, which they do have sets of these. If you want the, the drill guide and the tap guide that would go with it or for metric, whatever. Uh, I saw here also on the back, I just noticed this, they have uh, screw thread insert tap guides. So if you need to put a helicoil in there, uh, this will... Hold your helicoil tap square to the work too so that's that's really nice nothing worse than trying to you know hand tap without some sort of a guide especially on something like that you're trying to repair a factory hole probably anyway uh, you also you can hang it up and uh i don't know exactly what sort of steel they're using here but this is hardened and it says it's a high nickel alloy, so that means it's probably uh, going to be pretty rust resistant. Uh, they got all their disclaimers and war warnings and whatnot on here. And uh, these little marks are showing you the centers of the holes. Anyway, and all the all the stampings and everything else is really nice and clear. Uh, it gets kind of small here down at this end. It's pretty crowded. Anyway, this one here goes from uh, 1 8 up to 3 8 and I believe it's in 64th increments. Yep, looks like 64th increments. So that, that's a lot of holes you can drill. Another thing you note here on the bottom, it's got a V, and that's what I really needed this tool for. So with that, you can set a piece of rod in here, and you'll be able to center up on a piece of rod. Now. I don't have anything square on hand. Well, I guess the box kind of. But if you want to drill into the corner or something, you can stick that on there and clamp it on, and you'll be able to make a really nice, uh, nice drilled hole at 45. So, why do I need this tool? Well, you guys know I've been making these depth stops for the Stanley 78 planes. This is one that I made here, actually goes on here for the depth stop still trying to work on getting a screw for that but these fences are also something that get lost a lot and I'm gonna be making some of those hopefully but what I need to go with that is these rods because these rods come up missing all the time There's plenty of planes out there that don't have any of these accessories on them and there's probably four or five different models of plane that use this same kind of stuff but if you can see here, that rod has a little hole right sort of in the end. And what that's for is just for tightening it in there. Right? You know, if you're a carpenter, you're using this, you got plenty of nails around, so you just use that to tighten it up. An old Sneelock, I'll put a link up to his channel here. 
he was nice enough to lend me an original. Uh, I think he lent me the original of that also. So I, so I have a really good original one here. I was able to take all the measurements off of that. And I got a whole stack of blanks cut up. And I started, I made one just to practice. Got this threaded down here at the ends, all crowned like it should be. And uh, I put some dicum on there. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but I put a little line there, a quarter inch down, and I need to put a hole there. And then this one will be done. So, let's take our V-drill guide and get her set up. And it happens to work out for me. I need my hole a quarter inch from the end. Well, the first, first measurement is the hole I need to drill in, and it's actually exactly one quarter from the end of the tool, so that works out kind of nice. This is one of those jobs you need three hands for. All right. And I've seen a lot of guys use these without clamping, but it does say, I think, on here to make sure to clamp the tool. Probably not a bad idea. You know, I misspoke on there. It says uh, oil frequently to prevent rusting. So I suppose maybe this is not rust resistant steel. At any rate, let's uh, come over here and I'll get my drill ready and we'll put a hole through here. All right, I got my 1 8 drill. I put a little drop of uh, cutting oil on there. So let's go ahead and put a hole here. All right, that wasn't too bad. And this ain't just regular piece of steel, that's some uh, tool steel, so it's pretty tough. All right. And I sharpened that drill bit up nice and fresh. And we don't really have much blowout on the back side, so that's nice. It looks like it did an excellent job. There's our hole. Guys, I tell you, even if you just have a drill press, you'd be very hard pressed to make that hole. Uh, you'd have to put a little spot there, you know, a flat spot to start the drill bit. How are you ever gonna find a center? Go check them out. Uh, I'm sure they would love to have your, your business. And I gotta say, they were very nice to deal with over email and everything like that, but who am I? I'm just a, some little hobby, hobby machine shop guy. But, uh, they were happy to give me one of these. All right, guys. If you think you might want to order one of these, go check out Big Gator Tools. Make sure you use the promo code Old Iron Shops 10. That's one word. That you get 10% off on one of these things. Anyway, I'll put some links down below. And uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And check out these other videos that are coming up. See you guys around.